What's going on ladies and gents and welcome to Unturned. This game is a zombie horror survival game. It's a first person zombie horror survival game. You're in a world, you spawn in and your only goal is to survive. There is a massive zombie apocalypse. Everyone's dead. You're the only one alive and you got to survive. So this game is a lot of fun. Played it for roughly about 20 hours now. I went ahead and deleted my previous save. So I start off a brand new character and uh, it's completely clean. I'm just starting like brand new, fresh. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and pick... Ooh, Mustachio Man? I don't know, I like the... Uh, you know what? I'm digging the uh, the chin strap there. I like the chin strap. So I'm gold, I paid $5. This game is completely free on Steam though, at least for now. It is, earn, it is in early access, so you can possibly get it for free. I don't know if it will ever change, but I, purchased, I uh, ended up donating, essentially donating $5. Um, just because I supported the game and I like it and I want to see it go places, but I got some hair and some extra colors there. Uh, you will have this, uh, if you don't have gold, you'll just purchase, you'll just have these top rows of stuff, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Got some extra smiley faces. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Alright. Let's go skin color, and my name is Noob Sniper. Alrighty. And let's play. Uh, single player. And easy mode. There we go. So the game does crash when I try to record and load the game. So I'm just going to quickly do a quick transition and go. <laughs> All right, here we are. So uh, this is what it looks like. I don't have, to be fair, I don't have the graphics settings bumped up all the way uh, because I do want to try to record in 60 frames a second. And let's see, what is my graphics settings at? So these are my graphic settings. I'm actually going to turn down my draw distance a little bit here. Down to, let's say 75. And that'll help me help increase the uh, frames a second. Anyways, proud lighting. Shading. Disabled, 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 disabled. Proud foliage. Proud water. Focus disabled. Why? Because you don't need it. This game is not all about graphics. So, uh, this is the unturned world. It is, unfortunately, night right now. And that's okay. Uh, we'll manage to survive. I've started on easy mode because I am a noob. And so I, like I mentioned, I do have about 20 hours of gameplay, but I'm still pretty bad at the game. So if you start on easy, you start off with a torch or a flashlight, an apple juice box and a chocolate bar. Why do you need those two? Well, if you look at the bottom, you'll see my health, my hunger, my hydration status, and my infection status, as well as my sprint or my stamina bar. And if you sprint, it drains. If you jump, it drains. So that's just there. Uh, so your goal is to survive. The main way to survive is to scavenge and to build a base and to get weapons and what have you. So this is Alberton. This is my favorite town in the entire game. It is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, my goal is to get into some of the buildings down there. Because I need to get a weapon that isn't crappy. <laughs> uh, this melee is not going to do very much damage. It's not going to kill very much. So I do need to pick up a weapon here. If possible. Alright, so I've aggroed some zombies as you can see. So I'm going to just quickly hop in here. Alright, well. Anything else? Not that I see here. Just going to sprint past these guys. Woo! All right, sprint past, sprint past. These guys are fast. Uh, oh, that guy's the fastest one. No, go away. <laughs> They're not all one-hit kills. All, all the zombies take different amount of hits, uh, depending. Oh, katana. I need to get a katana. I need to get the katana. Hold on. One second. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, what? Drop. Okay, so I have my drop key bounded to left control. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is bring them out here. Drop that. So I'm currently weaponless. And pick up the katana. There we go. Now the katana. It is fast. It is strong. And it does great amount of damage. Even a noob. Even a noob could, could live with that. So. As you can see there are two ways to attack. You can use your left mouse button. Which is just a simple attack. Or you can use a strong attack. Uh, depending on the weapon they all change. But if you look at my um, stamina bar. Down there. 
you'll see that it drains 10%. Uh, this is because of... Hold on. Go away. Go away. This is because of the skill that I have not specced into properly or fully. So if you open up here, we see our menu, which can... Or excuse me, our inventory, which can be extended with a backpack. But we have our crafting menu, supply, supply, and tool. We have a result and our skill. So our skills... Um, you start off with zero experience. I just killed a bunch of zombies, so... Uh, but these are the different skills. Uh, I can take a second to pause the video and look at the description if you're interested. There you go. And so I have 20 experience. I think the best thing... Hmm. I'm going to go into survival, which is slower starvation and dehydration. And then I will go into warrior, which is better melee. Um, the reason for that is that you need to survive and you need to hit stuff and you need to kill stuff. <laughs> so being able to one hit in those dire situations is very, very useful. We have a whole train of zombies. Now, I will forewarn you, this game is tricky. It is not easy. <laughs> I died many, many times before I got the hang of this game. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, you understand the... And once you understand the intricacies, you can kind of know what you need to do and how fast you need to do it so in the bottom there you see that my hydration status and my hunger are increasing that means i need to get to water or excuse me i need to get and, and consume some water or some beverage of some sort and hunger i need to eat some stuff now there is moldy food lying around however moldy food increases your infection rate or your infection in general so what i ideally would do is pick up this potato, which I don't have space for. So I'm going to go ahead and open my menu, get on the chocolate bar, equip it. Now you can alter alternatively, these number one, two, three, four, you can simply just select through with your number button or number pad. So number two, eat that. And you can see my hunger goes down. Whip out my apple juice box and you can see my hydration will also go down. I've cleared up two inventory slots. I'm going to pick up this moldy potato. Now, I could go ahead and eat this moldy potato if I was hungry. However, I the best way to deal with any moldy food is actually to craft it. When you craft it, you gain potato seeds. These seeds are or will produce food that is not moldy, and that is good. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this moldy food here. Convert it into fresh seeds. There we go. Fresh seeds and place them down there. I'm just kind of placing them haphazardly for the time being, as it really does not matter. I just need food. And I saw a moldy cabbage in here. And I saw some other moldy food, possibly in the pizzeria here. Let's, uh, let's plant this, though. There we go. So this series is not exactly going to be a tutorial series. I'm not going to be teaching you the intricacies of the game. Uh, but I will be going over some basic stuff, or at least explain what I'm doing so that you guys can... Uh, Kind of follow along if you are interested, but maybe you don't have the game or haven't played it. Um, my honest recommendation is to possibly watch some tutorial videos if you want to get the hang of the game or you want to understand how the game works. Uh, but if you're just here for some basic entertainment, this is the right place. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be crafting that, crafting that. So what, what I just did was just crafted some seeds from the moldy food that I had or previously acquired. And I'm trying to keep them all planted in the same area just so that I can one harvest will be nice. And I don't have to be running all over town, sprinting all over town to worry about where, where my plants are. Okay, and plant those there. I think that should be fine. The plants take roughly 10 minutes in real time. They're not too, too long. Um, but it is nice to uh, to plant them and then kind of walk away and come back later. So vehicles, vehicles, yes, you can drive vehicles. Vroom, vroom. Beep, beep. Uh-oh. It's a car. Uh, excuse me, there's a zombie eating my car. An RCMP officer because I am in PEI right now. <laughs> Prince Edward Island, the one and only. This guy behind me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, he came up on me. He came up on me. Officer, I had, I had to. Officer, please, I had to. All right, there we go. All right, so you can um, drive vehicles around. They do take damage, so you do have to repair them with a blowtorch. Uh, as you can see, I have zero kilometers an hour 
or well, if I'm not moving zero, and 14% fuel. Uh, fuel is a commodity that is fairly, fairly um, common. You just have to be in a town with a gas station, which this town is not. Uh, so what I actually like to do, <laughs> just because I can, is uh, I like to drive this down, kind of park it. Let's see where I am here. That's That'll do. And turn on the lights and walk out. Idling the lights like this will actually not drain them, which is nice, which is really nice. Um, so I don't have to worry about... I can get a little bit of light there. Now, lever action shotgun. So I just picked up a shotgun. Uh, I'm not big on guns yet, only because I don't have a sufficient amount of ammo and then have to worry about reloading and stuff. So what I'm going to be doing is grabbing them and dropping them. If you drop them, they won't despawn until you log out. And, and that's, that's as of... You know, this very day that it is uh, being released, whatever day this video is going uploaded. Um, they don't despawn, or excuse me, they do despawn if they're on the floor and you like save and quit and then come back. So just be aware of that. Um, you will have to make crates and I will show you guys how to do that soon. But first, uh, these two items are the same. These one right here and here. And this is just a school bag. This is an item. Um, well, let's just show you. Ready? Look, four slots, you equip it, there you go. Now I got 12 slots. So I can pick up stuff now, uh, such as this gun, and not have to worry about space or saving space. Uh, so let's see, there's some nails there, don't need nails at the moment. That is a Swift Magazine, that is a Bonjour Clip. Translated would be Hello, a Hello Clip. Um, okay, this magazine has zero bullets. These are the amount of bullets in the magazine itself. Um, so don't be fooled. It doesn't. You don't mean. It doesn't mean you have four magazines. You have four bullets in that magazine, and I believe that magazine holds a round. Excuse me, holds seven rounds. So I know this is a lot of information. I I hear a zombie around me. Hold on. Oh, they're trying to get to me, but they're stuck in the car here. Um, Again, this game's in alpha. It will be fixed. Stuff like that will be fixed. Um, oh, sweet. Is that a generator? Ah, generator. Generators are great. Uh, they're... <laughs> Look at the description. Magic-fueled electricity machine. <laughs> this game has a lovely sense of humor. Uh, I'm just going to drop it there so I can pick it up on the way back. I've got some civilian bullets. And, uh... You know what? I'm going to go ahead, run back here, and pick up that magazine. I will show you how to reload a magazine because this confused me for a very long time so what you're going to do is i have an empty magazine here and civilian bullets these two work together so i'm going to go into crafting i'm going to right click put my magazine there put my civilian bullet there and then it rechambers or or yeah uh, you know i don't know what the term is not rechamber but it, it fills up the magazine with seven bullets so now i have a magazine of seven and a magazine of four it's also turning day out. It's also turning day outside is what I meant to say. So we need to head over there. That's where I want to go. That is the beautiful place. But first, haha, this is the pharmacy. The pharmacy is going to be very useful, especially early game. Uh, you will definitely want to visit here uh, quite often to pick up some stuff. And we are on our way to surviving. We are doing well. We're doing okay. Not well, we're doing okay. <laughs> what is this here? Stick them up, it's the police. Huh. Okay. Stabby stab. And stabby stab. <laughs> oh, come on. Who doesn't like a katana to the throat? Come on. You tell me that's not comfortable? Really? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sprint. Sprint. No, I got num numbed. I got, I kind of fat fingered another button and I didn't press sprint. That's okay. So I got a little num numbed. And as you see, when I got num numbed, I, my, what's, what's the term? Um, my infection level. I don't know what the technical term is, but that's what I call it. My infection level increased. Uh, so you gotta be careful of that. You gotta be weary of that. 